uh, hemodynamic disorders, any disturbances in the normal fluid homeostasis will result in hemodynamic disorders. We the uh, fluid movement between the blood vessels and the interstitial, this is the blood vessels, and this is the interstitial spaces. The movement of a fluid is controlled by the hydrostatic pressure and plasma osmotic pressure. There is opposing effect of these two pressure in order to maintain the movement of a fluid inside the blood vessels. When there is an increase in the hydrostatic pressure or diminish degrees in the colloid osmotic pressure, this will result in increased interstitial fluid. What's this mean? Is that there is extravasation of water across the vascular wall into the interstitial tissue. Even it will result in uh, yani movements of fluid from the blood vessels to the interstitial tissue. As we mentioned previously, there is inflammatory edema. Inflammatory edema, if we remember, result from increased vascular permeability. When there is increased vascular permeability, so the proteins will go outside the blood vessels. This result in exodate. Exodate. What is the difference between exodate and the transodate? The exodate rich in a protein, rich in a protein, and caused by increased vascular permeability, result in inflammatory edema. While in the non-inflammatory edema, no vascular permeability, so there is a transodate, proteins little content in this transodate. What is the causes of non-inflammatory edema? We have four causes of non-inflammatory edema. One of them increase hydrostatic pressure. The second one reduce oncotic pressure. Third, lymphatic obstruction. And fourth, water and sodium retention. So, we will start with the increased hydrostatic pressure. If the cause of increased hydrostatic pressure is localized, like impaired venous return, due to, for example, thrombus in the lower extremity, this will cause, this thrombus will cause the increased blood inside the, the blood vessels, so increase IV pressure. This increased IV pressure will cause localized edema in the affected leg. As in this diagram, there is obstruction due to thrombus, cause obstruction of the blood vessels. So there is accumulation of a blood inside the vein, cause localized edema. Localized edema. The generalized edema resulted from uh, congestive heart failure. When there is congestive heart failure, there is reduced cardiac output. When there is reduced cardiac output, so renal perfusion will reduce. The body will uh, compensate by retention of sodium and water. When there is retention of sodium and water, there will be an increase in the volume of a blood then increase in the hydrostatic pressure and cause systemic edema. We will see this in this diagram. Heart failure. Heart failure will cause increased capillary hydrostatic pressure. Increased capillary hydrostatic pressure. At the same time, will cause decrease in the renal blood flow. The blood flow that go to the, to the kidney will be decreased. So, the kidney will cause activation of renin angiotensin aldosterone system in order to cause retention of water and sodium. The protection reaction is in the retention of sodium and water. This will cause increased blood volume. When there is increased blood volume, also there will be increase in the hydrostatic pressure and cause edema. The other cause of uh, generalized edema is decreased plasma albumin. 
we say that the edema, either there is increased capillary hydrostatic pressure or decreased bill plasma osmotic pressure. How the plasma osmotic pressure decrease? When there is decreased bill albumin, what is the albumin? The albumin, it is the serum, most common serum protein responsible for maintaining of IV colloid osmotic pressure. Then, so, when there is decrease in the albumin, what is the causes of decreased albumin? Either malnutrition, decreased hepatic synthesis, nephrotic syndrome, these will cause decreased bilis plasma albumin. When there is decrease in the plasma albumin, so the plasma osmotic pressure will decrease and will result in edema. So the edema, as we say, either by increased capillary hydrostatic pressure or decreased plasma osmotic pressure. We say that the albumin is the most common serum protein responsible for maintaining IV colloid osmotic pressure. So reduced albumin, reduce the osmotic pressure. Why albumin is reduced? Either albumin is lost in case of nephrotic syndrome, the glomerular capillary will be leaky. It's a leakage of albumin. So there is degrees bill albumin in the blood and there is reduced osmotic pressure. This will result in generalized edema. Albumin also may be uh, there is reduced in the albumin synthesis as in diffuse diverse cirrhosis. The albumin reduced may be due to protein malnutrition. Protein malnutrition. مثل هنانا اللي عدنا نشوف هنانا عدهم لك أديمة هدول المجاعات نتيجة decrease يعني malnutrition due to malnutrition decrease intake of a protein this will cause that the osmotic pressure of the blood will decrease and there will be a leakage of uh, fluid to the interstitial tissue What about the lymphatic obstruction? Obstruction of lymphatic drainage when meaning يكون عندي obstruction بال lymphatic drainage إذن هو lymphatic drainage هو will take the fluid from the interstitial tissue and return it to the blood to the uh, blood so if there is obstruction of the lymphatic drainage this obstruction may be inflammatory cause may be neoplastic cause Even when there is obstruction there will be localized edema uh, this uh, localized edema this lymphatic obstruction can be seen in the breast carcinoma this is an infiltration and obstruction of superficial lymphatics cause edema of the overlying skin of the uh, breast uh, this is called orange peel appearance القشر البرتقال نتيجة superficial lymphatics they serve obstruction نتيجة uh, infiltration of malignant cells malignant uh, in due to tumor cause obstruction of the lymphatics and result in edema of the overlying skin زين عندنا other example uh, ما أدري إذا سامعين بها لما يصير عندنا جماعة ال breast cancer يسمو يسوون lymphatic clearance إنه ال axillary lymph node were removed in order to uh, يعني to study the if there is any involvement of lymph node or or not uh, there is uh, يعني the, from the surgical process, procedure Maybe there is a scarring. This scarring causes loss of lymphatic drainage. Loss of lymphatic drainage and causes severe upper extremity edema. And then you know, the lymph node of the axilla removed, removed uh, the scarring tissue uh, for any you know, of the operation 
may cause obstruction in lymphatic drainage. So there is um, cause severe upper extremity edema. What about the effects of sodium and water retention? Retention of salt and water will cause expansion of the IV volume. So and the expansion. As a result, proteins content will decrease. Even the vascular osmotic pressure will decrease. They can and the hydrostatic pressure increase. Will will osmotic pressure decrease? Even higher and the edema. Okay, example here: post-treptococcal glomerular nephritis or acute renal failure. This is the water and sodium retention will cause expansion of the IV volume, it then increase hydrostatic pressure, will decrease the osmotic pressure. In macroscopical, yeah, in macroscopical uh, by necked eye, I will see uh, swelling. By the microscope, when I study the histopathological appearance of edema, I will see clearing separation this is a clearing separation of the interstitial yani of the tissue of the connective tissue. This is edema under the microscope, microscopical appearance, separation, clifting. What about the term pitting edema? Pitting edema, finger press over significantly edematous percutaneous tissue, displaces the interstitial fluid and leave a finger shaped depression. يعني هنا عندي swelling عندي أديمة when I press my finger when I remove my finger this is the depression left here why? because there is displacement of the tissue يعني كل أديماتس التشوه fluid فدي صار عندي separation of the tissue this is what we call pitting أديمة if the edema, if the edema occur in the lung, for example, as a case of left heart failure, the alveoli filled with the fluid, filled with the fluid in alveoli, in a state of air, so there is a life-threatening breathing condition because the alveoli filled with the fluid in a state of air, and this will cause a life-threatening. Breathing condition.